Bennett and Ziegler in the infield. Is in the circle working through things mentally and always looking for ways to win, always inquisitive as she gets right out on. And that's exactly what you want to see against Reagan Johnson where she's been hit runner. And so this season has had a great has had a great season, but another out big time K by Julia Sanchez. Second most homers in this lineup with six on the year. You knew something was about to be put in play. Not this time though. Sanchez gets the strikeout, her second of the inning. Swing and a miss. Heron gets the strikeout, sits down Diamond Safe to start the second. Pitch that has such late break, make that her third K of the game. This Lions program as they wrapped up their play in Division Two. Heron's payoff, called strike three. Four strikeouts for Robin Heron against the first five batters. I was big on if that first pitch is through the strike zone, I'm jumping all over it. One, two, Heron got her to chase one up high. Robin Heron strikes out the side. I wouldn't have been here without Arkansas and God, my family, um, the people around me. So I feel like those two emotions are like. Uh, Hogs Go Pro is nothing new nowadays, which is a great thing to be able to say about the program. Uh, absolutely, and she talked about Daniel Gibson getting to. Right-hander Julia Sanchez pitching well. She's got three slow of runs. Drives one here to left center. Going back, it's off the wall. Head third, it's an RBI double for Hannah Gamble. Back, lets it travel deep and drives it off the left center field wall. And that's the adjustment so inning. She was consistently throwing that off speed pitch. So that's a great adjustment by Hannah Gamble. Foreman hits one to deep right center. Kirkendall able to chase it down. Got her swinging. Sanchez gets her fourth strikeout and gets out of the inning with me for these young players though, Sydney, to get to learn from one of the best. Oh my gosh, I mean, to be able to be coached by and taught by the best, she was, um, it, it just adds on to another reason as to why she's a great coach. They're and coach together in the NPF back in the days of the Akron team as Rio makes the play for out number two. Rio. And this play from Rio, she does a great job of reading the hops, staying in her program. You've got a ton of new players. Everybody's getting acclimated. Slap down the line. Gamble is on it. Pops up and fires, and it's in time. The hot corner, as we already know. And more times than not, Josh. The double over the weekend. Gets her swing in here. in game one on Friday against you. That she was throwing. And Arkansas, like you said, the third time through the lineup, they were able to keep their hands back and adjust to the off-speed pitches we just saw Reagan Johnson do. And stealing bases. Kramer, first pitch, pops it up to short. Bennett under it, makes the catch, and there's two away. You have the type of speed that Reagan Johnson has is it puts so much pressure on the defense and makes you rush your internal clock. Doesn't come into play here. The fact that she's able to remain stagnant. She doesn't ride the highs, she doesn't ride the lows. And when you're able to. Had a 14 game hit streak that came to an end last weekend. Gets called out on strikes here in travel ball. I watched her down in Oklahoma City at the USA Gold Nationals this past summer. Strikeouts. And just think about if she was able to throw a complete game. Right. That, well, she's already got 2015. And for a lot of programs, if you're a startup community, just for years has been so invested in softball. Robin Heron strikes out the side. Second time she can maximize their abilities as Hedgecock lifts one up down the right field line, sliding over to make the catch. Dehart. Boy, the unnoted of how good she is at getting you to maximize and just feel comfortable. In Lauren Kamen's in and Hannah Kamen's in and been able to do, they are displaying exactly what she says and it's controlling the mental side. This falls in and heads up base running. Really enjoyed listening to that, getting to uh, know things about Hannah. And on the state of Arkansas. 
Hit deep to center field, settling in front of the track is Kirkendall, makes the catch. Kamen's end able to relief in the first inning. Pitch six, did not give up. Christina Foreman bounces one to short. On it is Bennett, makes the play, and the side retired. Robin Heron got her swing in first time up. Eight strikeouts for Robin Heron. And make it nine now here. She gets the first down of the fifth. Popped up. Gamble underneath it and having to backtrack, couldn't find it. I think it was the bright blue sky. Didn't see it impact the infield as much. On the bunt attempt, the catch made by Halverson. Able to creep in. The third innings pitched in a start against Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Little flare into left center, falls in. Here comes the throw, not in time. It's a tie ball game. Average. This ball is an off-speed pitch by Robin Heron. She gets her barrel out in front. She is on her front side, but does a great job of keeping her hands back and staying through it. And how about it? First pitch hit well to center. Johnson backpedaling makes the catch in front of the track. And the side retired. She had one of the hardest hit balls I've ever seen anywhere on a lake. How hard she hits it. This one popped up to short. Bennett under it makes the catch. Rio, hard hit liner into center, one out, base hit. Swing, driving through it. Johnson looking for the element of surprise, but the bunt goes foul off the bat. <laughs> Lifted up to left center. On the run is Kosak, makes the catch. Two down. And is shown, Sanchez with one of the more heavily ratio. Go back to your point earlier, Josh, about her success against Maryland and then, you know, uh, is too big and that she trusts herself. Kramer, well hit, it's off the wall. Around comes Rio, she's in. Kramer's got the board. herself. A this ball is a little bit elevated in the zone. She keeps her hands up and above the pitch, working to drive the top part of the ball off of that center field wall. Off speed pitch, and they were going up to bat, hunting that pitch, just as we see Kylie Halverson. But a great response by Sanchez to get the out. Fifth, as she retired. The first 13 batters she faced in this. Love her rise ball and then staying back on the off speed pitch. It was two really successful pinch hitting at bats. Nunez hits it deep to center. Your glove and go on over out of the ballpark. Swing and a miss by Bennett and strikeout number 10 for Robin Harris. This is valuable experience, especially for such a young team in a big atmosphere. Lions team is. Still got a shot to make it to their conference tournament as this is sliced into right field. Two out single for the pinch hitter, Emmy Meehy. Quality pinch but. hitting at bats. And this ball's on the outer part of the plate. And for Emmy, she just stays on that outside pitch. Razorbacks turn into the ace. Shanice Dell says she does have a rise ball that she's gonna utilize, but she is a down ball pitcher. Griffith in the zone with her off speed and for Shanice with her drop ball, that's what they can expect as she gets a big time K to cap off the inning. Kamenson with the throw down to. <laughs> Towering fly ball, kiss that goodbye. A moonshot for 16th homer of the year. And for Rylan Hedgecock, this just her pitch by Sanchez, and it's up in the zone. Rylan Hedgecock keeping her hands up, working to be above it, and a moonshot completely out of Bogle Park. Just hadn't hit one out of the park. 
But uh, catcher was a secondary thought to her growing up. As she lofts this into right field. Lifted up to the right side. And that falls out of the glove. The throw comes to second where they could have got the force, but it was off. As she too is an up ball pitcher, is going to throw that rise. And then as able to. Line to center running in. Rubio makes the catch and throws down to third. Good throw. But in she it. stays behind this, her momentum through it, and gets it on a straight line. I think if that. Jammed and popped up. And it's the first baseman, Williams, who comes running over to make the catch. That is a huge. Courtney Dyfels talked about that resilience offensively with Riho. Doesn't predict the future outcome. And where's this one? Looks like it got her just above the right elbow. Being 17th multi hit of the game, hit of the year. And slice down the line. She's got it. Kamenzen in to score. Gamble right behind her the power and the speed, being able to utilize one of her tools, standing in and swinging away. She stays on that outside pitch, keeping it fair to drive in two runs. Reagan Kramer had an RBI triple last time up. Takes a walk here. Reloads the bases and it'll bring it. First pitch, lifted up down the right field line. This is trouble, and it falls in. Great offensive adjustment with their approach, what pitches they are hunting, attacking the off-speed pitch, laying off of the high rise, or if they attacked it. And what Arkansas can expect from Madeline Jansen is she is going to be different from Air Dawn. Takes a walk, and the bases are loaded up for the third time this inning. And uh, from the time she saw the first pitch until Gamble pops it up to the right side. Williams underneath it, makes the catch. And the side retired. Arkansas gets six. She actually played for head coach Brittany Miller's dad's travel ball team, the Wildcats. In Diamond, in moving over, she talked about her just wanting to be a part of the program and be a part of the process in the new. She knew who she was when she was in high school. Gets the strikeout, and Arkansas one out away from the victory. And believe it or not, what you build successful programs on. No, absolutely. And when you go up to bat, you as a quab. Slow roller back to Dels, fires to first, and puts an end to this ball game. It Through the first five innings, and for Arkansas's offense, they found a way to dig in. Bring you the coverage for our entire crew. And for Sydney Parley, I'm Josh Haley saying so long from Bogle Park.